Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, November 4th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, yeah, uh, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, it is Monday. Yay. New week, new week starting, new work week, all that jazz. Um, <laughs> I don't know how you guys are doing today but this morning I mean my social anxiety <laughs> is what well, was was because it's a little better now that I've started channeling here I already started doing this reading but um, my social anxiety was through the roof this morning I, I I don't really even know why I mean I went to a birthday party last night um, which was super fun and everything like that. But like this morning I woke up and I was just like, oh my God, everybody's judging me. I don't think I ever want to go to a party ever again, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, wait, you know, like, oh, I forgot to light my sage. I'm gonna light my sage here. Um, I've been burning sage this morning like it's my freaking job. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know what what the deal is. Um, I do feel like it's, I, I, as I'm saying that, spirit's like in my head, like it's the Scorpio energy. It's the Scorpio energy. And it's so funny because, and I'm not trying to like pass any judgment on Scorpios. I love Scorpios. Like they're some of my favorite people. Um, but we also have Mercury in retrograde right now, which is, which is interesting. And I was just actually talking to Betsy about this. Uh, Betsy and Leanne, you guys probably know them by now. Betsy is of Fearless Intuition. Leanne is of um, The Shell Revival. If you haven't checked those two out, I highly recommend that you do so. They are both here on YouTube. They're also on Instagram. But I was talking to, the, we were the three, the three of us were talking about it this weekend, and I was just saying how I'm actually doing really well with this Mercury retrograde Scorpio-ish energy so far. Like, And I really don't understand why. And, and of course, all of a sudden, here you go, boop, I wake up today and it's, I'm not doing so well, okay? But um, it's mainly, I, I mean, as far as I, I feel from myself going through this, personally speaking, it mainly has to do with social anxiety and like people feeling like people are judging me and like not really wanting to be around people or at least not wanting to be around people that I don't trust, that I, that I don't really vibe with. Um, that I, I, oh, oh, okay. Yes, that makes perfect sense because, okay, well, wait, let's, let's get into, cause then we have this pre-shuffle here and lo and behold, death came out, <clears throat> okay? Which is Scorpio energy, right? This is Scorpio. Then you have the 10 of cups and then you have the queen of cups, but the queen of cups, her back is turned here. All right. Um, Social anxiety, emotional turmoil, um, maybe having to go within to get your emotion, to like rein your emotions in because they might be over the top a little bit, maybe. I don't know. It depends on what you're dealing with. But it, 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 what it feels like here is this isn't, this is a purging energy. This is a push to get us, I mean, maybe this is, well, yeah, it's definitely a personal message, but it's also, I guess, a message for everyone else out here too. I just saw 333 on the counter, but um these are energies to get you to clear away all the people in your life that are not serving you that you don't vibe with that you don't mesh well with that you don't necessarily trust that or that you just i'm hearing that you just don't want to be around and if it's not people for me specifically i guess it's people although the people that i saw a lot of the people that i saw last night are not necessarily people that i'm i see all that often um, because it was, I mean, it was a birthday party, you know, but, um, if it's not people, then it's circumstances, it's places, it's things. Maybe there are, for some of you, there are some physical possessions that you really need to let go of. Um, I know I got to do something, some of that. Um, uh, for some of you, I'm even picking up that this actually could be a job. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Letting go, cutting ties. These are things that I'm hearing here. Of course, it all doesn't have to happen all at once. You know, this is a phase, a cycle that you're going to go through in which you're just going to have to roll with the punches and just go four, 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 just go with whatever happens for you. But, um, and it's interesting because I did see a meme 
talking about you know this this energy that we're in right now in which it's closing out cycles it's it's removing it's a it's it's a process of removing people that no longer serve you blah 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 whatnot whatever that kind of energy Whew. okay well i feel a little bit better <laughs> i mean i don't know how you guys are feeling through this right now but yeah um yeah social anxiety right now is like through the roof for me at least but hey Ten of Swords and Nine of Swords just wanted to pop out <laughs> with the Hierophant. Um, all right, yeah, let's just, oh, okay. Let's just get, get through the rest of this here. And um, we'll see what else we've got. Keep in mind, guys, that this, this reading, just like all the other readings on my channel, are timeless. I do date, I put dates on them to help organize, um, to help, you know, people potentially find something later if, you know, if they want to see it later, but it doesn't have, it, it, the, date, the date is not specific, okay? It has really has nothing to do with the date. This is just, you know, timeless reading. Whenever this resonates for you, then this is the message for you at that time, yeah? All right, let's get into this here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, November 4th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this three shuffles and we'll see what we've got for today. Yes. One. For the collective. Two. Oop, two. And last one. Three. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we've got for today, guys. Eyes are closed. Eyes are closed for our Monday, November 4th. I mean, I, I'm picking up on Scorpio energy, like hard, like strong, you know, and we're in Scorpio season right now. So that makes perfect sense, but it's having an effect on us, you guys. It's really having an effect on a lot of people right now. And I was, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was really surprised that I was, I had been doing so well, you know, up until this point, but like literally I'm, I almost text, texted some of the friends that I was with last night to say like, don't invite me to any more parties because I don't know, I don't know if I can handle that. And I've been in such a strong hermit energy lately that I just don't want to be around people. And I mean, Okay. Ooh. Well, the star just popped out. Wow. And I'm hearing to leave it here. Okay. We have the star with the nine of wands and the moon. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, I just... I w and what I was about to say was like, you know how like people are like, oh no, you know, don't be such a hermit. You know, you gotta come out of your shell. You gotta, you gotta be social, blah, blah, blah. It's healthy. No, bullshit, actually. That's absolutely bullshit. Like I find it to be much healthier to stay in my cocoon, to stay in my safe space, to stay, to just really only spend time with people that don't fill me with an, with anxiety. And it's like that, that's common sense. You know, it makes, it makes perfect sense. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so, but we have the star here. Okay. With the nine of wands um, and the moon. And uh, this is just reassurance <clears throat> from spirit right now. It's saying to like, don't give up. And also when I'm getting with the moon here, especially especially the fact that it's this side of the moon in which you see you have these two pillars. <laughs> you have these two. I, I'm laughing because every morning the birds, especially when I'm doing these readings, it's either the starlings or the like the finches. Um, they they kind of like hang out at my window. It's so adorable. I absolutely love it. <laughs> 
it's really comforting. Anyway, with this side of the moon here, you see you have these two pillars, and on this side of the moon, the pillars are standing, right? You can see them, but then, just like on the chariot card in this deck, this is the vice versa deck, but just like on the chariot card of this deck, you can now see that these pillars are hollow. There's empty, they're empty, there's nothing in them, okay? And this right here, this is the high priestess. Notice how she's, she is naked, um, but she's coming to you bare, you know, in her purest form, say, and it's almost asking you, like, I'm almost getting in a, a sense of like, what have you learned here, which has been a common theme right now um, for the collective. Um, but it's but it's basically what I'm feeling here is like this is revealing things for you and giving you a choice as to how you want to proceed. Okay. Um, and I'm just getting, especially with the death card that came out in the pre-shuffle, I'm just getting a strong sense of clearing, of purging, of allowing yourself to release situations, circumstances, people that are hindering you. Okay. I'm really getting a strong, especially with this nine of wands, I'm getting a strong sense that people are, are starting to get to certain parts of their journey where they're really starting to wake up. They're really starting to recognize how much people's energy influenced them. Um, especially, yeah, with that Queen of Cups energy that came out in the pre-shuffle also. I mean, yes, it was talking about needing to get your emotions in check, but now that we're at this point in the reading, I'm seeing that there's a lot of empathic awakening or, or getting stronger with your empathic abilities, becoming more aware of empathic abilities. And everybody has this ability. Like I'm not, no, we're not, no one is ever really, no one is special in that sense. It's just a matter of awakening to it, recognizing that you, you, you have these powers or these abilities and owning it, you know what I mean? Doing what it is you need to do to help facilitate, to flesh those out. Um, so becoming aware of, starkly aware, I just heard, of how influential your surrounding energies are in your life, on your well-being, and doing whatever it takes to make sure you're protected. I'm just getting, with this Nine of Wands, this Nine of Wands is really standing out right now. Um, and people are, like, I'm, I'm getting this feeling, this sense of people are starting to realize how battered and bruised they may be under certain circumstances, okay? But the star here is saying, please have faith, please do not worry about it because you're you're just you're just going through a true psychic, I'm hearing, spiritual awakening. Um, and this is not and this might be jarring, yes. It's not to hurt you. Please don't please, please try your hardest not to pass judgment on yourself or even on others. It's really not about that. It's just about coming out of the illusion, the moon, literally coming out of the illusion, okay? And you can see these two things that, these two things that she's holding in her hand, you see this orb of light and then this, this, I don't know, a cup of liquid, but that liquid, that green color of that liquid is giving me a feeling of like murky water, grossness, gross, like icky stuff, or you can choose the light, you know? whatever works best for you. It's really up to you, it's your choice, and no one is, well, at least the universe is not trying to pass judgment on you. We're just, we're just giving you the option. I do feel like some of you are in an energy right now where you're kind of saying to yourself, well, I don't really need to leave everything else behind, all of that stuff behind me. I mean, I'm aware of it now, so I can do take steps to protect myself. And so in that case, you might still be choosing that that little cup of like that green what, liquid, whatnot, whatever. But then I really feel like you're eventually you're going to start realizing that you you really would be better off just removing yourself from certain situations or avoiding certain situations certain environments certain people because of what you're going to have to do to recover from being in in those energies you know what i mean but i mean that's a little bit of foreshadowing there for you obviously if you're in that mind space you're going to have to learn that for yourself you're going to have to experience that for yourself um but yeah uh, yes, I'm hearing take that with a grain of salt, you know, still do your own vetting, right? I mean, it's your life. You have, you just have to figure out how it best resonates or works for you, but yeah, now. Okay, let's move forward. Um, 
Mm. I'm not gonna lie, this message feels a little weird today. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I want to get a little bit of clarity, and I'm going. I'm back with the Dreaming Way Tarot today. This is one of my favorite decks. Um, I want to get a little bit of clarity on the energies that are surrounding you right now with the star here, the Nine of Wands, and the moon on the other side of the deck. And then we're going to get, um, we might get Spirit's take on it if they have something extra they want to say. I'm not sure um, because I was hearing, just as I, as I was going to say, we're going to go from here to the next thing, which normally would be Spirit's take, but I heard Oracle Guidance right after this, so we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. But we'll see. But anyway, let's get some greater clarity on this for you here for you guys actually okay we might be getting spirits take already that's kind of what i'm feeling like but they want me to continue using this deck here so i'm going to do that okay one last shuffle yeah greater clarity on this energy for you and then also spirit's advice. This is gonna be all that wrapped into one little tight, cute little package. <laughs> okay, here we go. feel like that's the nine of pentacles no it's the king of pentacles Ooh. Ooh. overall energy of the three of swords now um wow it's very interesting that um, it's the King of Pentacles and not the Nine of Pentacles because even though it is the King of Pentacles, it's still giving me a similar energy as to what I was picking up with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is an energy of independence, okay, self-sufficiency. But in terms of this coming out as the King of Pentacles here, and this doesn't, this has nothing to do with gender, okay? This is this is both masculine and feminine, whatnot, whatever. But what I'm getting with this King of Pentacles energy is like you literally you standing on your own for sure being well well ma well manifested in your own sense of self um abundant okay and i mean like abundant in the sense of like universal energies have got your back you i mean this is way more than just the nine of pentacles this is the king of pentacles here I'm, I'm having trouble finding the words to really describe what i'm feeling but there is just a sense of security in yourself on your own standing on your own two feet three of swords is the overall energy here being betrayal backstabbing pain heartbreak but you standing on your own i am so vibing with this energy right now like this is i'm so resonating with this but you standing on your own in the face of whatever heartbreak it is you've dealt with in the past despite okay i am going to i am going to go to the golden universal tarot next for to to get some more clarity for you guys cuz i want to i want to pull specifically what spirit's advice would be here but um what this is saying is despite whatever it is you've been through you are still a very strong and independent individual you will still have um a lot to be thankful for a lot to be proud of you've come a very very long way okay and I'm really definitely getting a sense of this three of pentacles, I'm sorry, this three of swords energy. And it's interesting that I actually just wanted to say the three of pent. I said the three of pentacles instead of the three of swords. Three of pentacles is an energy of self-mastery, all right, of, of, of building, you know, building anew, building a foundation. Um, and I really do feel like with this three of swords energy here, it really kind of, whatever this heartbreak, whatnot, whatever that you've experienced has really propelled you into being this self-sufficient, energy that you are now standing as beautiful all right so um okay so now i want to get spirit's advice here it's very interesting very interesting very interesting reading today but also very interesting energy 
Not even gonna lie. Okay, last shuffle. And then Spirit, specifically, please, just some advice for us moving forward here. Like, what, whatever you have to say about this, whatever it is you want us to know, I guess, from your perspective. The lovers. Holy moly. And I'm getting, okay. Wow. I'm getting fifth dimensional reality, a sense of fifth dimensional reality in with this lover's card. The lover's is the balance of masculine and feminine. Um, this is the union. I just saw two, two, two again. Oh, good God. <laughs> um, this is this is union, but this is inner union. Also inner balance, inner peace, inner harmony. These are all things that I'm hearing with this lover's card. So what basically what spirit is saying here is from our point of view, this is what we see of you. This is you being balanced, firm, and secure. Overall energy of none other than the hermit, guys. Ooh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, staying true to yourself, staying firm and focused in what it is that you know is right for you in your own sense of balance and your own sense of harmony. I mean, holy moly. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to find more words to, to convey this, but I guess it's been conveyed, huh? Okay, so, wow, this is a short one today. We're gonna get some Oracle guidance here for you. Lightworker Oracle today. Especially with these vibes, with definitely with these vibes that are going on, we're gonna go with the Lightworker Oracle. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's almost, it's like, basically what Spirit is saying here is that you found yourselves. And this is totally why you're able to go th through this deeper sense of psychic or spiritual awakening because you're finding the truer sense of self underneath the surface, underneath all the conditioning and all that. I mean, this is beautiful, you guys. Last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for our Oracle guidance here for today's reading. Our card is, whoa. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even want to say it. I just want you guys to read it. <laughs> Do you see that? Card number 11, 1111, messages in the numbers. Whoa, guys. Holy shiznits. <laughs> that was so cool. I was not, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, so here you go. Card number 11. Wow. The universe is speaking to you through numbers from 1111 on your phone to the repeating number patterns that catch your eye. Information is being transmitted from the creative universal intelligence into your cellular awareness. You may feel energetic healing as you receive these transmissions of number frequencies. And as I said that, I just saw 234. Now it's 2345 on the, holy moly. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, I, I'm really feeling like I wanna read more of this, so I'm gonna go for it. Numbers are energetic medicine. They are particular frequencies in a universal language of love that helps heal and guide you. There are no negative numbers. Healing vibrations of numbers are working for your soul now. Which numbers do you notice most often at this time? Oh, yes, I really do wanna read this. Spirit really wants me to read this, okay. The frequency of the one is about beginnings, taking the initiative, believing in yourself, and accepting a leadership role in which you step ahead of the curve beyond the consciousness of those around you to guide the human race forward into love. The frequency of the two brings healing around partnership and allows you to be helped by others, particularly in relationships, whether business or personal, 
the two indicates more can be gained by working with another. The frequency of the three indicates a time to learn, write, teach, or develop new ideas, collaborate with others, and create win-win situations. It is also the number stamp of the Ascended Masters, particularly, particularly multiple threes, affirming their connection with you. The frequency of the four brings angelic healing, divine order, an influx of energy, I'm sorry, and an influx of energy into the physical plane. It is a get things done energy, which can help you materialize desires. More than one four in a row means the angels are speaking to you. Call upon their loving assistance to help you manifest your divine destiny. The frequency of the five announces change and acceleration. An issue is resolving. Transformation is happening through divine alchemy. If you see a five, let go. Allow what is happening to happen. Trust in the goodness behind all unfolding in your life. The frequency of the six is love, money, beauty, and abundance. Many people are afraid of the six vibration, especially multiple sixes, which some teach are a sign of evil. There are no negative numbers, however. The six is a sign of material abundance and healing of, pro and healing of prosperity, love, and romance. The frequency of the seven indicates healing ability, channeling of spiritual wisdom, and the sage or teacher. It is a sign to accept what makes you unique and to balance your social life with restorative solitude. If you have asked about your life mission, the seven indicates it is, at least in part, self-healing and very likely the healing of others too. The frequency of the eight asks you to step up into leadership that is not apart from others, but amongst them. Others may look to you as a role model or authority figure. Accept this with human humility and remember to encourage others to find their own power. The frequency of the nine is a highly spiritual energy indicating blessings, compassion, and an ending of a cycle. It comes when resolution of unfinished business is taking place so a new cycle can begin in due course. It also indicates the Christ consciousness and can be a message from any master that resonates with that energy, reminding you to trust your heart and ask for love to bless and assist you. The frequency of the zero is a divine wild card. It amplifies the energy of the other numbers and places a divine stamp behind it. Any significant number accompanied by a zero is a message direct from the universe. It is the divine saying, I am sharing something true and special with you. Take note, for I am with you. Wow. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.